Okay, so before I play Jump, yes, I've seriously considered playing Jump after this one. I've been warned about the- actually, no, I haven't been warned about the difficulty. I looked it up. I got a description that initially turned me off from playing it, saying that it reaches ASMT like World 8 difficulty by World 3, and it stays there up until an attempt to go all Kaizo. I was originally frightened because I remember getting off of the moving bus at World 7. In fact, I was probably going to get off the moving bus at World 6, but I somehow persevered through Echoing Call. Don't even ask me how. But for now, I'm going to be doing some, doing Roberto Zamperi a favor. He has this hack that he wants tested, but he also wants the feedback written in text. Because he's not the best at English, so it'd probably be easier for him to read than to listen to me speak. That's understandable. So anyway, I felt like maybe I should do this guy a favor. I mean, why not? I didn't say no. So figured, let's just do this. I also saw that it's not too long. So let's get started. I'm gonna be making notes while I do the let's play. So yes, he's made Super Mario World the 29th Mega Man Anniversary Adventure. So I guess this hack has something to do with Mega Man too. The fact that it's been around for 29 years. Why didn't he just wait a year until it was 30? That would be a more rounded number. Okay, well let's just go. in this year. It's celebrated the 29th Mega Man anniversary. However, something terrible had happened. So far, the English is not that bad. I just want to see if I can rephrase the it's celebrated something better. In this year, it's celebrated. I'll probably come back to that later. Here comes the five evil bast- I mean, the evil dastardly bombers and their evil schemes. Hope we don't get into terrorism here. They ruined the party and kidnapped the six Mega Men and trapped them in your personal castles! Oh, what does Mario have to do with this, though? There is a mastermind who is pulling the strings of the five evil Mavericks. It's time to save the six Mega Men! Let's go! I wonder if Mega Men should be capitalized. I think it should be. Personally. Okay, why am I not going? Debug room! Oh, it's nice to hear this music again. Debug room! Okay, so let's see here. Yeah, this definitely looks like some sort of test room. We're seeing blank map 16 tiles that do something. We're seeing this weird... I don't even want... That's a wiggler head. I don't even want to know what else that is. Okay, these are conveyor belts, but they don't look like anything. They're just blank map 16 tiles. And it's just all a line of cement blocks here. Yeah, that's a test room. That only has conveyor belts in it. And yeah, so far it's in the hack. I'm willing to bet this is an unfinished product and he's still working on it. I seriously doubt that test room is going to be in the final version. I... Ah, pineapple planes. Let's start the actual hack. Okay, I didn't think someone sampled this Super Bomberman song. Or, uh, Bomberman Tournament, actually. Okay, so far, so good. So far, it's off to a pretty good start. Okay, I want to find something to say about it. I mean, so far, there's nothing really that's coming to mind. It's just the regular World 1 level that I've played so many of. Oh, okay, I can go in this pipe. <laughs> Bonus room. This guy's doing a good job so far. Yes, I do know some of his other works, like Stardust Dragon 2011. Yes, Stardust Dragon being one of those Yu-Gi-Oh monsters. In fact, one of the best synchros in the game. Really tough to kill, and it can actually save your other monsters too, I think. Yeah, that too. It can actually save your other monsters too, as well as itself. And it can always come back. And synchros were pretty relatively easy to summon. I mean, fusion monsters have always been harder to summon. You would need polymerization at first, but 
they made it easier as the game progressed. Like, there was Fusion Gate, and then, like... Damn it! Then there was, like, everything Elemental Heroes did. Then, next gen, we got Synchros. That was easier than Fusion Summoning. And then they made things even easier and more broken with Xyz monsters. Yeah, I barely even know of Yu-Gi-Oh at all. Apparently, there's a new card type of Pendulum that's, like, hybrid normal monster spell card. Like, I don't know. Ah, enough about that. I remember it started as Dragon Rap and all these awesome graphics rips. And a lot of ASM custom stuff, kind of like Brutal Mario, kind of like Cheat Master, who was inspired by Brutal Mario for some of his hacks, like Endgame. Yeah, Roberto's on Pyro was kind of a Carol wannabe. I mean, it was still pretty impressive how he inserted all those things, but gameplay wise, probably wouldn't have been the best experience, but. Pretty cool stuff in Star Dragon, I could've imagined. So far, this is looking less like Star Dragon 2011, more like a regular Aww. hack that's not so obsessed with... Okay, I think that sound glitched. I don't know if it's that big a deal. We'll have to see if that happens again. Pineapple Caves. So everything is pineapples! We don't see anything that really resembles pineapples, just blue hills. But then again, like, we didn't really see anything around- Ah, uh, never mind. The overworld was donut-shaped in Super Mario World with, with, like, the donut plains. Vanilla Dome, well, yeah, just naming the worlds after foods. It's pretty much a not the original Super Mario World, so I always understand why people do that. Man, this port. This port of a song I've heard millions of times. Uh, hyperbole, I'm exaggerating. Maybe hundreds of times, maybe even thousands. It feels fresh and new! I wonder who ported this. Well, of course, I know what the song is. It's the Underground Thief from Super Mario Brothers. They've re Nintendo's even reused this in like nearly all their underground levels. Even the newer games, they're reusing the same tune from 1985. Oh wow, are we done already? Oh, man, boy. Okay, I don't wanna, like... Okay, I wanna actually kinda focus on the level design, too. It would be nice. I will get distracted by everything else. But the level design is pretty average, so far. It's what you would expect from, say, a ROM hack or a Mario game. It's not doing anything. <laughs> okay, there's like a bit of cut off here, but it's not that big a deal. If you really want to be a perfectionist, you could like make those tiles up here green instead of the brown from the ground. But that's only if you really care that much about a bit of wrong color. It's not gonna kill you in the end. What would kill you is if your game played poorly. And I firmly believe that if your game plays poorly, it's gonna kill you in the end. Not you, but the wrong hack. Believe me, I would know. <coughs> Mario Endgame. Pineapple! Oh, not even. Yoshi Hill Zone. Green Hill Zone, but we're pressing green with Yoshi. Let me guess, Sega music. Oh wow, not even. Well, it is Sonic music, but it's not the Green Hill Zone I was expecting. Okay, I think this is Sonic music. Okay, Hammer Brothers. But at least there's also this line of bricks just above it, so you can go under it or knock it from underneath. I mean, usually in easier hacks, that's how you're gonna see the Hammer Brothers. Is this Sonic music? Or could it be from somewhere else? Ow. Okay, I see I got the Super Mario Brothers 3 Power Down patch. So I'm probably going to be able to take a lot more hits than usual. No, at this rate, I don't really need them. I mean, one, one, one so... Okay, I can see that we definitely need Yoshi there. No denying it. And Yoshi's going to make this easier, because I can take as many hits as I so desire. I mean, it's, it's not a flaw that Yoshi's in the hack, because just keep in mind that he's going to make things easier. 
okay, that was close. He almost swallowed the key. Yoshi could do that if you leave it in there for long enough. Yo, Switch Palace. Okay, now all of a sudden we get different graphics. With crabs, okay. Crabs become angry. You hit them once and they speed up. Kinda like Mario Brothers. No, exactly like Mario Brothers. And all of a sudden we get completely different graphics from what we had before. Oh, I forgot the crabs take more than one hit. I should be careful. <laughs> I guess that I should be mindful of these crabs. Okay, Midpoint, and now we're gonna be getting to the Switch Palace action. try and re-enter this place. Okay, good. There, I, can, I, can, I can actually beat it. I would be really surprised if I couldn't. I'm just wondering what's gonna happen if you re-enter this, if possible. Well, you can only find out once we clear this. Man, I wonder what this song is. I gotta find it. Okay, I think it's Sonic, maybe. Either way, I have to find this. Okay, I think it's the Lava Reef Zone, maybe, from Sonic 3. Probably heard it in SMBX, so... Okay, if I hit this, I can get coins and another P-Switch. Obligatory bonus coins. So then, can we re-enter this place? Switch Palace, yes, we know. We did it again! And we can't re-enter it, so it looks like I won't have to worry about not being able to beat the level if I go back in. It's good. Normal legs of the Ocean Hills, I'll just get that. Okay, so I've already passed that secret exit. Now we get the... Oh uh, yeah, it's always good to have the secret exit not too far in the level. I mean, if he does put a secret exit like right next to the normal exit, I'll tell him for sure. Okay, there's the keyhole. Wait, were there two keyholes in this level? Or am I just hallucinating here? I want to go back. <laughs> Either way, I'm probably going to waste time. But it doesn't matter. Life's short, but not too short. I don't know what the- I don't know <laughs> what I was thinking about having seen a two keyholes. I don't know what I was thinking. Oh yeah, no Yoshi. Game just got really easy again. I just run under these guys. I mean, you're giving me the option to do so. That's always good for an early game. so far. Fortress! Resnor Bronze Fort. Nothing to do with the pineapples anymore. Okay, Yoshi's Island foreground with background from wherever the hell this is. These two are from like completely different games. I wonder if this is Donkey Kong Country, the background. Well, if it is, then the graphical clash could be like way worse. The 8-bit Mega Man foreground with the Donkey Kong Country 3 background. Yeah, that's happened before. Don't think I forget. Something like that. Anyway, the hack that had that, that was the least of its worries. Man, do you know how tired I am of sometimes listening to this? Even though this castle theme, fortress theme from Yoshi's Island is pretty good, Kind of get sometimes get tired of listening to it. Well, you, you could actually blame Anakiti because he pretty much uses it in every fortress. 
Well, if he puts in custom music and attack, you can count on his fortresses and castles having this most of the time as the custom music. Well, maybe not most of the time, but pretty damn often. In all his hacks. Yeah, we were talking about that, Flames and I. Anakiti's... All of Anakiti's hacks... Yeah, all of his hacks... Well, maybe save his first few from like 2001, 2002, and so on and so forth. All of his hacks, from like even 2004 to like today, all of his hacks are similar to one another. He's been doing nearly the exact same thing for all like 10 years, and I still love him for it, somehow. I do kind of wish Anakiti would try something different, but... Anyway, what he does have has been working for 10 years. Pineapple, okay, back to the pineapples. Pineapple Athletics. 